Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Johnny Collins. Awesome drink. Take on the classic Tom Collins. Mm -hmm. Gin and lemonade. No gin in this. No, we're substituting the gin with bourbon. Huh. Makes an equally great, I would say even more complex and delightful cocktail than the Tom Collins. Mm -hmm. It's called Johnny Collins because Johnny Barleycorn, or John Barleycorn, John Barleycorn, it's kind of a traditional nickname for bourbon. Mm -hmm. Made out of barley corn. Yes, mm -hmm. he was like a scarecrow. No, we're not him, the bourbon. Actually, that was, people don't know this, a lot of people don't. That was, the nickname came from Jack London's autobiography from 1913. Do you know who Jack London is? I got no clue. Call of the Wild. Oh, okay, yeah. Remember that? So you know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had, I guess, a problem with drinking. I don't know exactly. I haven't read it, but he loved his bourbon and he loved him back. And so that was the name that sort of stuck. I think that's the same for all writers. I think so. All good writers. You think anyway. we could be, we think we would be like excellent with prose. You got Hemingway and everything, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. So this calls for two ounces of bourbon mm -hmm. and sort of geared for a hundred proof bourbon. We're using the Taylor Tornado Warehouse bourbon today. Some lemon juice. Rock candy syrup or rich simple syrup, some mint, and some chilled club soda. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use mint. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of recipes you'll find are gonna call for uh, Marciano, Luxar uh, the Luxardo Marciano yep. liquor. Right. Um, we just thought that took away too much from the bourbon. Yeah, so you lose all the complexity when you add that. So mm -hmm. don't be tempted to do that. And we do add some mint, which is unusual, but we love the combination of mint and bourbon, mm -hmm. right? Like a mint julep. Yeah, very goes true. great together. So uh, we'll show you how we use the mint as we go along. Mm -hmm. But we'll start and make this, all right? Let's make it. Two ounces of bourbon. I'm going to get my lemon ready here. We're going to put this all in a Yari glass so we can stir it with some ice to chill. And we'll need one ounce of lemon juice. Great lemons this week. Juicy. There you go. We're going to do three quarters of an ounce of rock candy syrup. You can do rich, rich, simple syrup. That's two parts sugar, one part water. The rock candy, although, will add a little bit of a vanilla flavor to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to add the club soda after we stir. And when we stir, we're going to add some mint leaves. Now, we're going to use this mint sprig. Mm -hmm. um, as our garnish later on, and it's gonna be kind of a stir stick. So what we do is we pull off the leaves from the bottom, about four clumps, and we'll just throw those in the glass there. Phil's gonna add his ice. And just from the process of stirring, that will um, bruise the, the mint leaves enough to give just a little subtle hint of mint essence that you want. I'm going to pull off just a few more of the bottom leaves so we are left with a little stick. All right. Yep. We're going to put four um, ice cubes into the we'll throw three in there today. Ah. Three of them. Well, we need four to actually, so I'm going to take one of these. All right. Can you scoop that thing out? Yep. All right. There Perfect. we go. All right. We're going to do two ounces of club soda. And you can pour the uh, alcohol part in and top it with the club soda and then stir it. But we like to pour them in simultaneously. And that'll mix it that way. Yeah, it gives it a much better mix to pour both at the same time. Beautiful. And then the little stir stick goes in there. And there you have your delightful Johnny Collins. Enjoy. Cheers.